All right, we are back. We are back with another review. And this is the one and only, one of my favorite Beckett's is the King Griffey Jr. This is issue 64, nine, July of 1990. <laughs> I cannot wait to look at this. Oh, uh, let's put that down there. So, just to give you a quick look at the front. And it's got Frank Viola on the back. Wow. But I'm really curious to see how much these cards are worth and stuff. Um, let me fix this. Hold on. I'm going to try to fix this so the glare. So it won't have so much of a glare. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'll just hold it. <clears throat> so anyway, it's premiering the 1990 F Fleer football. Some very nice, it's a couple colorful pictures in here. Oh, and then it's advertising that classic. And then we got Frank Viola and Frank Viola's, um, I want to say that. I don't know if that's his rookie card, so I'm not going to say. And then it's got all the top prospects back then. Bob Green, Flash Gordon, Jim Abbott, Pitcher. There go Greg Jeffries and Gary Sheffield. Greg, or Jerome Walton, and of course, King Griffey Jr. Oh, look at that picture. Look at that picture of Bo Jackson, and I believe that's Tom Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> this brings back memories. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. And then those collector books, I do not, I remember them, but I never did have these back then. I got a couple now, and see, I didn't even know Griffey had a collector book. But um, I never did get these back then when they first came out. And it's got some artwork. Joe DiMaggio. Some more artwork here. <clears throat> Eddie Murray. Wow. That's his rookie. Wow. Okay, now we're breaking into the cards here. And there's Cecil Fielder's rookie card. And Kelly Gruber. I remember Kelly Gruber. <clears throat> so back then, they went... They still had like the 48... See how it's got the 48 Bowman? Look at that. Look how much it was back then in 1990. I don't know. I don't know the current price. Because, you know, Beckett separates them now, but... Even the 49 Bowman back then, look at the 49 Bowman set. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. See the 49 Bowman set? This is 49 Bowman set. Look at that. $15,000. Well, they are not playing, boy. So who was the major rookie in that? Well, that's got a Jackie Robertson card in there. Satchel Page, Duke Snyder. It's way before my time. I'm not that old. But anyway, um, let's jump to about 1980. <clears throat> but I did like the 55 Bowman. I like the 55 Bowman because it had that little TV look. I always kind of like that card. Those types of... That one and this one. 52 Tops. 52 tops 
I like that dual design that they had right there. But see, these cars are way old, and I, it was no in the world I was going to get a hold of them. And I, to this day, I still don't really have any of those, and I'm really not trying to collect them. But I wouldn't mind having a Hank Aaron rookie. So let's jump into the 80s and the 90s and stuff. Okay, here's the 80s. Where, how much is, um, look at Ricky Henderson's rookie card. $100 and going up. 1980 tops, and that was the main card. So, <clears throat> let's see. George Bell in 82. Here's Cal Ripken's rookie card, $20 and going up. Wow. Tony Gwynn's card. Tony Gwynn's rookie card is uh, $21 and going up. That's 83 tops. Ooh, look at Don Mattingly, $30. See, these, these are the cards. Yeah. These were the cards that I never could get when I was a child. But now, I own the 80s now, boy. The 80s and the 90s, I own them now. And I'm really curious to see how much this King Griffey Jr. rookie card is going to be. Let's see. I'm just kind of skimming over some of this because... <laughs> Look at the Bo Jackson. See, Bo Jackson, I'm telling you, boy, back then, Bo Jackson was the man, boy. He was $10. Oh, I hated to see him get injured. That just hurt. Even the Will Clark. Look at the Will Clark. Will Clark's rookie card was $12. Man, these prices have dropped off the face of the earth boy look at the david cone even david cone down there david cone three dollars okay this is 87 dollars by the way ruben sierra 650 roger clemens oh the jose canseco was ten dollars and going up Wow. Okay, we're getting close to it. <clears throat> see Bonds I see I can't even see Bonds' rookie card over here. It didn't it just didn't stick out. I think it's 330, yeah. See look at that. Bonds' rookie card was back then. His is like the only one that went up. Back then it was like 50 cent. What does that say? 90 cent? You just never know who to collect, boy. Okay, 88 dollars. Look at 88 dollars. A set of 88 dollars. $27. And now you can get it for like five. <laughs> but see that Mark Grace? Look at the Mark Grace. See, that was the card to get. The Mark Grace is five dollars. I am a 90s kid. I am a 90s kid. And the Greg Jeffries. The Greg Jeffries was $4.50. And everybody else was kind of just going down. Except for all these dollar cards over here. You got Bo Jackson. Will Clark. Don Madeline. Bo Jackson. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> now see this was the set also. The 88 Fleer. Look at that. $48 and going up. Greg Jeffries of $6.50. That was the main card in there. This is like memory lane. Look at 88 score. 88 score was $26. A set of 88 scores, $26 and going up. <laughs> Now you can get that for five dollars. <laughs> now see this eighty-eight score traded set. It's pretty much stayed the same. It's seventy-five dollars and going up in this book, but that Mark Grace card is holding it down. And that I don't even think I have that one. I don't have that one. 
I never was a big Mark Grace fan, but he wasn't a bad player, though. Okay, we're getting close to this upper deck. I want to see how much this upper deck. Okay, here's his 88 or 89 downers. 89 downers. This car was $5 and going up. See, this car went up because nowadays it's like worth $8. Wow. And that was like the only card. Well, look at the great. Okay. I take that back. Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar. $1.50. Gary Sheffield, $1.50. That pretty much stayed the same. Greg Jeffries. See, Greg Jeffries used to be good as far as value, but not anymore. Randy Johnson was $0.40. Cent. Greg Olson was $1.00. Look at the Ricky Jordan. Ricky Jordan's rookie was a dollar. Dollar and going down. And yeah, okay. Eighty-nine Fleer. Eighty-nine Fleer was. Thirty dollars. Look at that. Thirty bucks for a set, boy. Look at the bonds. Barry Bonds card is fifteen cent, and now it's like a dollar, a dollar or two. And he's like the only one, because all these other players are not listed no more. That is crazy, boy. And then the Cal Ripken, look at the Cal Ripken cards. It just has error, and that's the F face card. And then you have the whiteout, $40. The scribble card is 16 and then the black box is $0.75. Cent. See, the black box is the one that people mostly get. You're going to mostly get that black box. I've never seen. I'm going to keep on getting that 89 Fleur until I pull one. I wouldn't mind doing a video on all four of those cards. That would be awesome. Okay, here's 89 Upper Deck. And his card was $18. And going up. But the Upper Deck set was $50. Bucks. So that's, that's about how much it is now. But see, look at this Dale Murphy. Back in the day, the Dale Murphy... Reverse negative. Look at that. $125. That's crazy. That was the card to get. That one and that Pat Sheridan card. See the Pat? There it is. The Pat Sheridan. And there was another one, I believe. Oh, yeah, that Randy Johnson. I don't think they even have that listed in here. Yeah, I don't think they even... Well, if they do, it's not worth... Wait a minute. That's... Wait a minute. That was the 89 Fleer. I just got to go back real quick. I just want to see how much they got the Randy Johnson on the 89 Fleer. His error card. Um... Uh... I don't see it right off the bat, and I couldn't remember his number by heart, but that little marble sign, and dress, Jeff Treadway, Treadway, okay, yes, I'm not going to waste my time with that, but anyway, moving along here, and see that 90s, the 90 Donners had a lot of error cards in it too, because that Gonzalez, that was not the only one. It was a. It was some more, and I wonder if they have them listed. See, like this one. Look at that. Ten A. See, the whole set was twenty five dollars, and this is nineteen ninety dollars. Okay, now look at this. Look at all these error cards the 1990 Donners had. And none of these are worth any money. They're not booked in here like this anymore. But look at that. The Nolan Ryan. 
Nolan Ryan error card is ten dollars. See, I don't, I didn't even know about that. I forgot all about that one. Harold Baines, but see, it was a Kevin Hickey. I remember Kevin Hickey having an error card in here. Maybe it wasn't worth too much, but I knew he had an error card in here because they they had a book just showed you all the error cards. So I'm looking for Kevin Hickey, and I don't see it. Okay. Well, there's a Bo Jackson error card also. See, 1990 Downers had a lot of error cards. But it's funny how these are just, they kind of like just fell off the face of the earth. And look at the 90 Fleer. That's $25. Ugh. I wonder if they got 90 score. Yeah, 90 scores in here too. And see, 90 score, see? That um, Sandberg highlight. His error card is $15 and going down. The correct card is fifty cent. Back then, look at that. Back then, score was like forty five dollars and going up, but now it's zero. Okay, where's that Bo Jackson card? There it is. See that Bo Jackson card? See in his prime, that Bo Jackson black and white card right there. Look at that. Everybody wanted that card, boy. And see, look at Frank Thomas. He wasn't even worth a dollar back then. That's the Frank Thomas. But that black and white Bo Jackson, boy. I see Ben McDonald was $2. It's them little dollar and two dollar cars that keep the, um, oh, I forgot about the Dave Wells. It was a Dave Wells air card in there also. They made a lot of air cards back then. A lot of these sets have air cards. They're not even mentioned. But that Dale Murphy... On the 89 upper deck, I'm going to look that up in a current book and see how much it is. Now, this 90s tops, I want to know how much this Frank Thomas error card is. They probably don't even have it listed. Let me look on this page real quick. Yeah, they don't even have it listed. I don't think it does. There he is. Look at that, 45 cent back then. But see, they didn't even know about the air card until the air card started popping up. And now that air card is worth like $500. And that's not even graded. So. And this stops with 1990 Upper Deck. It's upper Deck, 1990 Upper Deck is the last cards that they show. And that set used to go for $45. Are you kidding me? And look at that Ben McDonald error. Back then it was $45. Oh, his cars are going down. See John Olerud. Look at John Olerud. John Olerud, he used to hold it down, boy. $4, boy. These players just fell off, boy. That's crazy. The Jerome Walton card. I remember that. I was collecting a lot of them. And of course the Griffey, that's two fifty. The Griffey card. I don't even think that's worth that much now. Okay, who is this? I don't even remember this error card. Who does that say? Jim Gott. See these uh, this is a whole lot of error cards from the nineteen nineties that are no longer listed, period. They need to bring these back, boy. And see, this is what kills me. See, back then, like the little common cards, they would even give them credit to, for being like 10, 15 cent and stuff like that. They don't even do that now. It's just too many cards nowadays. Let's finish looking at this, this book here. Okay, so I think the rest of these are in black and white. And see, that will show you when the card shows are and everything in every state. Am I zoomed in or zoomed out? Let's zoom out. Okay. Yeah, they will show you the card shows and all that. So that's a couple color pictures in the far back.
all the little show dates and stuff. And then we got Eric Davis. The almost 4050 man. <laughs> it says thanks to three home runs Eric Davis didn't hit in 1987. He's one of the collecting world's best kept secrets. He was a good hitter though. And there's his rookie card. I gotta look his rookie. I'm gonna look his rookie card up before I um, close this out. There go Will Clark autograph. Mark Grace, Fred Crime Dog McGriff. What this brings back memories. There's Oral Hershiser. See how they have the calendar show you by state? <laughs> and what do we have over here? BS BSP videos. All right. Oh, look at the Beckett's from the other sports. There's uh, John Elway and the GOAT, Michael Jordan. I wonder if I got that one. I think I do got that one. There's the comeback kid, Ted Williams. Oh, I thought that was some Nintendo games or something. I was about to say, I don't re really remember Nintendo advertising. But see, back in the day, you could get one year. You could get one year for $20.00. Two years for 35, three years for 47. Yeah, try that now. <laughs> All right, I said I was going to look up Eric Davis's rookie card, and then I'm going to close this out. What was that, 84? No, 85. There it is. Uh, let's see, back in the day, Eric Davis, see, I don't know his number. I'm just looking for a high value card and it's probably him. Okay, Kirby Puckett was 25. Hersheiser's rookie was 10. Okay, there it is. Eric Davis. Oh, he clocked in at 20, boy. Almost 20. Boy, this brings back memories. Alright, well, I'm going to close this out. And that was the Beckett Monthly from 1990, King Griffey Jr. And I'll see you in the next video.